Good morning. Here is it afternoon. I, don't, I just came into work, so I feel like it's the morning, but it isn't the morning, so it's good afternoon. Let's uh, just start moving around a little bit. We're just going to do some really just basic shifting our weight right now, just starting to get our body ready to go. We will be doing lots of movement. If you need balance support, I encourage you to be near a chair or a wall or something to hold on to. A lot of the movement can be done from a seated position if you get a little creative, but we'll also give you some options if something's going to be a little bit easier or a little bit harder um it, there's i'll kind of cue you as to some of your options right now so let's just roll the shoulders a little bit i'm just kicking my arm my legs out a bit just to kind of change some movements move my body a bit and then we'll get started the first couple of movements will be a little bit easier too so we'll sort of be extending our warm-up i'm just now shifting my tapping my toe in front here and I've now moved to kind of a front roll of my shoulders and I'm just kind of kicking across my body here so just like the previous few sessions that we've done together we're gonna have kind of uh, I guess four sections two blocks with two sections uh, two blocks and each block has two sections in it and within each block there will be um, a home base and then some exercises that are going to be have some you know relative uh i guess kind of similar in some way or have something in common and then we'll have a different home base and a different kind of commonality for the next block so block number one our home base is going to be our hamstring curl you can choose to use your arms how you like you could do the arm sway um, you could do a, a row but you kind of pick the movement you want this is going to be our resetting position so we're always moving and we're going to get ready for our next move um, so again, this can be done slower as a recovery, or it can be done faster, lower, whatever you want to increase the intensity. So use the home base um, as you see fit here. I'm transcribing this by accident, I noticed. <laughs> I'm transcribing this the whole thing. That's fine. All right, so we're gonna start off with this home base of our hamstring curl. The first movement is going to be a side tap, okay? So all of that is, out to the side. You can, get, you can continue with the with the, uh, the the arm sway. So this can be done faster or slower. You can do single tap here. I'm going to start to continue with that for the rest of this session here. Is that is I'm just going to do the taps up to the side. Um, again, it can be done faster. It can be done lower. Or we can just keep it nice and simple. And a bicep curl fits well with this. Or, or again, swaying arms, whatever you like. We're just going side to side for this first. You'll probably notice block number one, we're doing a lot of side to side type movements and block number two will be more forward and back. That's the theme today. I always sort of have a theme, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> All right, so again, this, if you're going faster, it's kind of more like this, almost like our little skaters, or we can go slower. All right, we're gonna go back to our hamstring curl to get ready for our next movement. So again, you can do this with your row or your arm sway. I enjoy the arm sway personally, so I'm going to do that. Again, first block's a little bit lighter in intensity, get us extending our warm up a little bit. Okay. Right, so for our next movement, our next movement again is slightly coordinated, but again, as you know, I don't do anything too coordinated because I'm not that coordinated myself. Um, so this next movement is going to be kind of a step out wide, step to the middle. And so what we call this is a wide, wide, narrow, narrow. So you can go wide, wide, nice and deep, or you can keep it pretty small. You can go nice and fast and deep, really relative to your comfort level. But all we're doing is making sure we have some wider steps and more narrow steps. All right, so you can make your adjustment. Again, if you're going lower, you're getting a bit of a more work on the lower body. Quads and almost like a little mini squat really necessary but it is an option for those who are looking for a little bit more intensity all right wide wide narrow narrow i don't do a lot of my arms here so i'm not really sure what to do with them to be fair so i'm kind of kind of doing a little walking running arms here <laughs> that's about all i can muster you probably could do a little punch here that would work you could do a little punch learning on the fly here everybody <laughs> All right, we're gonna go back to our home base in just a sec here, which is going to be back to our hamstring curl. I'm still continuing with the arm sway personally, because I like that. All right, excellent. 
So again, in terms of making this more, more challenging, if that's what you want, again, it can be lower. And it obviously, we can always try to move a bit faster. If you need balance support, you could be holding on. Also an option. We have one more kind of movement in this sort of first block, or first section of block number one, before we move into the slightly uh, more uh, like a higher intensity of the second block, second section. All right. Uh, so for our next movement, I didn't really describe it yet. We're going to do a side step with a lateral leg lift. So that's going to be the side step, leg up. Side step, leg up. Okay. This is going to cause a bit of balance. So you can be behind your chair if that is something that you're looking, if you're worried about it. Okay. Or you can just do a tap. Okay. You don't. You can just step out a little bit wider with the tap. That would be an option. Or you can step to the side with your leg lift. Okay. So it's side tap, leg lift. Again, arms can probably stay how they were before. You don't necessarily have to do anything technical here. We're just adding the leg lift to the side. A lot of lateral work. I don't know how to put it in there, to be honest. You can do way better than me with your arms there. On the <laughs> My hips are tired. There's a lot of exercise this weekend. My hips are not, are pretty tired from this. Okay, I'm just gonna shake it out a little bit here. We're gonna go back through in for our next step. Uh, a second section of the first block. So we are still doing our hamstring curls. So what I'm gonna say here, if you wanted, you could add a bit of a sway with the bicep curl. It's a, it's a little bit bigger movement with the arms. If you wanna get a little bit more intensity out of your home base exercise for this round. Or again, go slower to make it a recovery, right? You gotta use it the way you want to use it. So for me, I'm gonna go a little bit lower and I'm going to add the sway with the bicep curl make a little bit more, I guess, intensity in this section, okay? That's my, my, my choice. So in terms of our theme and following kind of our, our theme for the session, the, the next our next exercise is still going to be a, a, side, a side movement, but instead of the side tap, we're going to give you the option of a side kind of a lunge. You can always go back to the side tap, side touch, if that, uh, or even a simple side step, if you don't quite like the lunge, okay? So when we're moving to the lunge, it's gonna look like this. So we're gonna set up and lunge. I'm gonna move my chair, because it's gonna get in the way. And then you come back and lunge, right? So it's almost like a little bit of a movement, okay? That's your movement. Again, you can always switch back to the tap, if that's more for you, okay? <laughs> almost like a little, little uh, wide, a wide squat almost. My chair is definitely too close to me, but that's okay. We're gonna have a few more seconds here before we go back. Exercise. You can always add your arms, but I'm just keeping this for kind of the balance sake. All right, back to your home base, which is your hamstring curl again. We're going for the intensity level, we're going a bit lower, and we're adding a little bit bigger movement with our arms. Look at this movement, it's so much. It's, it's, quite, it's simple, but we're going to have the option to go a bit faster with it. So but we'll, I'll show you that in just a second. It's going to be a side tap, it's going to be a bit faster. And we're going to add a sort of pushing movement with our arms. So we'll get there in a second. All right, so for our side tap. Now we're to the side tap. We're encouraging a little bit faster side tap and we're pushing out with our arms. You can even come back with the row to maybe even that much more. So push out, row back, and almost a little bit faster movement. So side step, or this could come back to a side tap, okay? Either one is okay, depending on what. If you need a little breather, or if you're looking for more, it can be more of a side step of the tap, okay? Whichever one works for you. We're not gonna be too much different on our next exercise either. We're just gonna change up our arms a little bit. All right, back to home base. So we're back into our hamstring curl. So that can be a slow hamstring curl. It can be a faster hamstring curl. You can add the bigger arm. Options. So 
the next thing we're going to do is much different. So you're going to have a side step or a side tap option, but we're going to do our seal clap with our arms. So we're just going to change up how our upper body is moving a little bit for our next exercise. And as always, you can go up faster, slower, higher, or lower to make your adjustments. So next one, again, you can start off with the side tap and then adjust from there. You can just kind of tap your legs up to the side with our seal clap, right? So that's your kind of introductory option. <laughs> or we can go faster and lower. This one here, I'm kind of sticking with the tap, but if you want to do a side step, also okay. I'm just going a little bit lower, putting kind of some work on the lower body here, but you can stay up taller, take a little bit less strain on the the lower muscles. We only have one more home base for this block, and then we'll be switching it up. So we're almost <laughs> in this section. All right, let's come back to our hamstrings. Our last time for our hamstring curl, everybody. So we'll say goodbye temporarily after this. So our hamstring curl. We'll move just a more forward, backward type movement as opposed to the side to side. So that part of your hips will get a little bit of a break. So our last one is going to be obviously the more difficult movement, so it's up to you how you want to look at it. We're going to do a side step with a light knee lift. So the first time around we did sort of a straight leg lift. This time I'm going to ask you if you want to bring your knee up and stand up. So I'll show you what that looks like. So this is more like this, okay? Now you can still do it a little leg up, that's an option too. Or you can still go to the tap, or you can actually just bring the leg kind of off the ground almost with a little bit of a knee bend. All right? So this kind of is going to bring us a little bit into our next section, which is a little bit more marching and forward back focused. A uh, little segue, if you, you want to think of it that way. All right, almost there. Our next home base is going to be simple, but I like it because there's so many ways to make it more difficult or make it easier. It's just going to be a marching home base, okay? So for the next one, marching. Marching is great because we can do a small march for a rest. We can do a fast march. If you want a little more exercise, we can do a higher march. There's so many ways that we can adjust this particular home base. And I kind of like it now as my second option for the second half of the class. So that way we can, you know, do what we need. So we can slow down or speed up depending on what we want. So this time, um, we're going to focus more on the front to back movement. So we're going to do a tap back and with a high row, okay? So it's kind of like this. But I'll come to the side so you can see too here. More like this. All right, so we're just tapping our foot behind us with a high row. Again, this can be done slowly. You can even be holding on with one hand. This is what you need for balance. All right. And we're really bringing our arms back and squeezing our shoulder blades to the top. Then we're going to come back. In a few seconds here, we're going to come back to our march. All right, back to the march here. Let's get ourselves organized for the next exercise, which is going to also be a kind of a tap to the back, but it's going to be on an angle. We're going to tap out to the side. So I'm going to start with our right leg. We're going to do a right leg tap out to the side and we're going to add a bicep curl with it. We'll see how that works. <laughs> in my mind it works. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like in real life. Uh, choose your, your speed. Choose how, how much your arms move here. You really drive your arms back. You can do a lot more intensity to your march. You get your knees up higher. Also a lot more intensity or you can bring it down slow. Okay? So right leg first. I'm going to kind of come to the side so you can kind of see. It's going to be an angle back, right? Angle back to the bicep curl. So just, that's it, okay? So side step with the bicep curl. One leg. Or uh, still an angle back. Instead of the row, we're just going to bicep curl. I'm probably doing it there. But that's what I meant to do right there. So I'm bicep curling as I'm doing my angle back. That's what I meant to do. I'm just doing the right side for now. Simple enough. We'll get it, we'll get it right on the right side. We'll, figured out better for the, for the left side. All right, so I'm bicep curling as I'm stepping back. That's the coordination I'm hoping for here. I'm just trying to add a bit of an angle to my step back. So it's not straight back, it's a bit of a back into the side. All right, now back to your march. And then the next time around, we'll do the exact same thing, just using our left leg or the opposite of what you just did. So 
I did my right, so I'm gonna do my left. With the same kind of idea, so we're gonna hopefully coordinate that bicep curl with my step back, that's the idea. And then there's only one more exercise in this section, and then we'll be in the final section, so we're almost done. Go by fast, I find. One here. All right, are we, we're all settled and ready for our next, our next movement, which is going to be that angle back with the bicep curl. So angle back into the side, so our 45 degree tap back. There we go, I'm much more coordinated on this one too. I needed that, I needed those couple, I needed those couple minutes there to figure it out. There we go. And again, just like anything, the further you reach out, the, the further you go back, the kind of more intensity you now add to the movement, or again, you can keep it really small and nice and slow. So choose what works for you. Excellent. A few more seconds here, and then we'll move into our home-based marching, and we'll move into our last section. All right. So back to your march. We only have a few more exercises, some similarities to the ones we just did, just maybe a little bit more intensity. All right, so just think about that. If you need a break right now, go a little slower. If you think you want more, then just really get those knees driving up and your elbows driving back, and that will get you a little more intensity. Now, since we are pretty comfortable now with that angle step back, we're gonna do that same angle step back. But I'm going to give you the option, this is a balance thing, so this is not going to be for everybody, okay? Um, an option to sort of drive your knee in the, at the end of the movement, okay? So I'll show you what it looks like in a sec. All right, it'll take me a sec to coordinate it myself, okay? So it's a step back, and the pop with the knee drive. This is a great situation if you want to hold on and still get the movement, you can do that. You need that support. Otherwise, you can do your step back, and when you bring your knee up, rowing back, okay? You can still do that if you're holding on, you can do it with the one arm. All right, so hold on and do that. So angle back, move up. Again, this is the, the last block, so I always give you harder things here <laughs> as an option. So do what works for you. You're still angling back, knee up. And again, your variation can be even just a tap back as well, right? Lots of ways to do it. All right, back to your march. Now we have a few more exercises. We're gonna do the left side, obviously. And then we only have two. Yeah, we're almost there. We're doing great. <laughs> Timing's reasonable, I guess. All right. So again, if you need that chair you felt from the last one, you need to hold on. Make sure you're in the right position for it, because now it's going to be the left side. So it's the left step back and the knee drive. All right. Back with knee drive or half back little knee, right? It can look like that. All right, I'm gonna add kind of a, a roll when my knee comes up. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> I'm gonna add the roll when my knee comes up. That's sort of the, the, the higher intensity version of this exercise for sure. All right, and as always, you can adjust your speed and your height and how far you reach with all movement. All right, we only have two more exercises outside of the march, so let's march it out. And again, they're gonna be similar. They're gonna be single leg, step back with an optional knee drive, to the right and the left, and then we'll be done, okay? So I'll give you a variation. Keep your chair nearby. If you feel like you wanna do the movement, but you want the balance of the foot. So you can do that with a single leg movement, okay? Adjust your intensity of your walk or your march, slower, faster. All right, so for the next one, we're gonna start with our right because we just finished our left on the other exercise. And what that looks like, if you're holding on, it's gonna be a step back, knee drive, right? If you're not holding on, then you can add the arm or you can add both arms or a single arm, all right? So we're stepping back, knee coming up. Step back, knee coming up. Same thing, you can go lower and higher or you can keep it small. So low, move it small, okay? So it's up to you. Holding on is also an option. Almost done. We'll do this one for a few more seconds. We'll collect ourselves and then we'll do our left. All right, let's collect ourselves here for a little, short little bit. And then we'll do our left side and pull down. So adjust your speed, how high your knees go, how hard you drive your elbows behind you. 
need your balance support. Make sure it's close by. Now we're going to do some left. Okay, so we're going to go left foot back, knee drive. If you drive the knee, that's when we bring our elbows back. All right? So it's more like down and when you bring the knee back, you drive. All right? That would be the highest intensity version, okay? You don't have to do that one. You can always pull and then do big arms. Almost done. A few more seconds here. You may find you have one side that's better balanced than the other two, so maybe you have to hold on on one side, not on the other. Fine. And again, adjust your speed. All right, we are going to come back to a march, but it's going to be a slow one. All right, we're coming into our just slow march. We're just going to kind of walk pretty slow. We we're still marching, but now we're, we're definitely going to the lower intensity march. Nice and slow. And we're just going to continue to slow it down as we go. I always find this goes pretty fast. <laughs> I always have bonus exercises on my list, but I never get to them, so <laughs> you're lucky. <laughs> you never get to the bonus exercises. All right, so now we're, gonna st we're still going to move, though. Maybe just roll the shoulders. We're just moving nice and slow. If you like to move around your space, because that's something that you like to do, that's fine, too. Just uh, you want to keep the body moving just a little bit easier. And the other way with our arms. You just don't want to kind of fully, fully stop right away. Okay, I'm just gonna move it down, kind of almost like we did at the beginning, as like our warm up. I'm now tapping my feet in front, but I'm just doing nice and slow, just sort of sw almost really swaying my body. You can hold on to. We're just still moving. We're just moving nice and slow. Still good. All right, let's uh, hold on to our elbows here. I'm gonna pull one to the side. All right, to be honest, I'm moving honestly. Now I'm just swaying side to side. I'm still moving, but I'm not really lifting my feet off the ground anymore. Okay. All those back the other way. Still swaying and moving, just really, really nice and slow. Nice light breeze, push from the side to side. All right, we're gonna hug that really big tree. Grounding our shoulders and then bringing your arms behind us. If you can grab them, great. If you can't bring your hands together, that's fine. We're just trying to stretch out our chest. But if you can, you can have the arms kind of hands touching and you can sway side to side. My movements are even smaller now. I'm barely moving. I'm just kind of bending my knees here or there, shifting my weight. All right, now we're just going to take a nice deep breath. You raise up. If you'd like to get a nice deep breath, really expanding lungs, belly. And try to control the breathing out. This will really help us to lower our heart rate again. Nice deep breath. And blow it all out. One more time. All right, good job, everybody. Hard work. You guys did great. You can